the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. That's something that happened, whether you believe it's ratings or just for whatever. Um, we have a new doll named Charlie. And although we had four women's matches, which was an improvement from Friday, they might have been not that good. Welcome to a brand new episode of Kimmy Talk Wrestling. As you see, I have things everywhere. Things on my hands, things on my face, but that's for a whole different time. But we are starting. to obviously the big thing, we have a new WWE World Heavyweight Champion, and Big E is our champion. So if you were not aware or off the Twitter grid all day yesterday, you would have missed that Big E announced on Twitter that he was cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase last night on Raw on whoever was going to win the WWE Championship match between Randy Orton or Bobby Lashley. This match was moved up because of the fact that they didn't want to wait, you know, it's been so long since they've been in the ring together that they wanted to have it, and they got screwed out of having a tag team title match, they wanted to settle the score on Raw. And that's how the show kicked off, explaining that, you know, Randy saying that he was become he was going to become 15-time champion, Bobby saying there's no way in hell that was going to happen, and Biggie taunting them saying that he is going to walk out at the end of the night with a WWE Championship. This match was really good. Um, you could definitely see the, the improvement from the last time they wrestled up until now, because obviously they're two totally different characters. Um, Riddle on the outside mocking MVP was the funniest thing ever. And just like that, Bobby retained, and with seven minutes left, Biggie walked to the ring and cashed in his money in the bank briefcase, and then they cut to commercial, because that's just Deba Bui. And then, with a big ending, to the almighty reign of Bobby Lashley, we have a new champion. So I'm really excited that Biggie's champion. I think we've all kind of waited for this, whether it was going to be because of the money in the bank or because of the Royal Rumble. I don't necessarily know if it's going to be a long title reign because I don't know what's next. I'm assuming Bobby is going to get a rematch. But now Drew can challenge for the title again, so that's something that could happen too. But also with this draft coming up in three weeks, you never know who's going to end up on where. So it's going to be interesting to see, but I am really excited. So congratulations, Big E. Congratulations to the whole New Day. So now Xavier Woods is the only member of the New Day to not hold the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Or, and actually, he's also the only member of the New Day to not hold a singles title. Keep that in mind. But from there, Charlie. So Alexa Bliss and Charlotte have been feuding, and... So basically, Charlotte was in a match, and she won her match, and Alexa comes out and is like, oh, I have a present for you, like, thank you so much for accepting our title match, Extreme Rules in two weeks, I have a present, and Charlotte's like, oh, no, 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 and they mocked Dana Bryan a little bit because they did the yes-no thing, and hands her a present, and it's, and they sold this, WWEshop.com is selling these. It blew the dolls, dressed up as Charlotte, so the hair is different, it's blonde, it has a robe, and it's a woman's title, and... Alexa's reasoning was, oh, you know, when we beat you at Extreme Rules, you'll have something to play with because I have your title. Oh, boy. So, I don't necessarily know what to actually think of this. Because, obviously, like, this is Alexa's whole character, and then, you know, later on in the night, Charlotte threw the doll out, so we know the doll's gonna possess her, and that's how she's gonna lose the title, is this freaking doll. So, I'm intrigued of which way this is going to go i don't like i just feel weird because we like every time alexis really had a feel with someone like it's the only time they have brought in another doll so i don't know i i would say Alex, like i feel like alexis is gonna win because i feel like they're trying to do like short title range with charlotte to then have her tie rick flair and then she's gonna hop over to AEW with her boo that's intriguing and then the bones matches so on Friday, there were no women's matches. The one match just got cut because of Rollins and Edge because the match went too long. And last night, there were four women's matches. But were they any good? 
No. So you got Charlotte's match against Shayna. And that's Shayna and I is gonna wrestle next week. Finally, after six months that this should have happened. Then you had this is my last game to put newspaper on my face. So then you had Nikki Ash versus Tamina. And Tamina won. And then you had Rhea Ripley versus Natalia, and Ripley won. So they're gonna get the tag title map championship match before Tegan and Shotzi do, which doesn't make sense. And then you had Eva Marie and Dewdrop. And Dewdrop's music, I don't know what pop rap that, that music needs to change. It's horrible. Ugh. I need a story. I need storylines. I need better matches. That's all I want. Like, you can have four matches. They're great. That's great for the woman's revolution. I get it. But you need things. Like, elevate this Shane and I story. You add extreme rules. There should be a triple threat ladder match for those titles. There will be. I will be creative. Just hire me. Just hire me. I will help you. And together we will elevate. But I'm going to end by saying I am a firm believer that the only reason Biggie cashed in last night was because of the fact that AEW beat them in the demo and they're trying to get the ratings back. Because USA and Fox is not too happy with WWE we right now. So they're just trying to do everything and anything they can to get back in their TV network's good graces. And that's pretty much it for Raw, like major things. And then the whole Karrion Cross is now new Shane O'Hare, which is kind of crazy. Um, you should have had him been dominant since day one. Don't know why we waited two months. But I mean, remember, he lost the debut match against Chef Hardy. But that's it for me. Um, tomorrow starts our new NXT, which is quite scary. I'm really hoping that it's a lot better than I think. We're trying to get a new NXT champion tomorrow, and I will say that I am so sorry for Samoa Joe. I really hope that you, that the interview's not too serious and you come back 100% very quickly because we need you to run NXT and this new version of NXT. That's it for me. You'll see me tomorrow reviewing NXT. And you could follow my socials and everything which is in the link below. And yeah, I hope you all like the words on my hands. <laughs> and that I'm literally shooting in my dorm's bathroom because my roommate kicked me out of the room. So yeah, that's it for me. Bye.